Hey everyone, it's Bowler Guy, and today we're going to be analyzing the new filtered seed glitchless Bedrock 1.19 world record, which stands at 7 minutes and 39 seconds, which blows the previous world record out of the water here. The last verified world record was by Mini Miner with a time of 9 minutes flat, and this kind of beat it by a minute and 21 seconds. So we're going to be spawning in here, and it is a Taiga village, objectively the best village for playing filtered seed. So, my goal here is going to be raid three houses for um, chests which contain some food and some wood, so I don't have to punch any. And then, obviously, the beds, too. Now, the plan is only three houses will do, but I am, am not really pleased with the amount of food that I get, so my plan changes a little bit to raid another house. Now, that blacksmith wasn't as good as you might think it is. It's only a diamond pickaxe. So, well, it's really only three diamonds, but uh, obviously diamond pickaxe is the best option. So, that's what we're going to be making here. And I wasn't really content with only having nine food, but I decided, oh well, it's okay. We're going to roll with it. My rule of thumb is to have one food for every minute that you're in the run, even in random seed glitchless. That's why I grabbed around 30 every single time. But we're going to be taking out the golem here. And then I'm going to grab a bucket and start the day again. And this isn't that great of a pace. I've been on a better pace than this digging down. But being that I already have everything, you know, it's it it's pretty good pace. So we're gonna be doing sprinks here on the spell and digging down pretty quick. The stronghold is very nice to me and it will spawn very high up. And the nav is not terrible, but it is not the greatest. Which again is a little bit surprising. That's two things I could have done better with this run that aren't in my control, is where the end portal spawns and the blacksmith so far. But FSG um, forces you to be good at making conclusions very quickly. So right as I came in the stronghold, I knew roughly which ways I could go and which ways I can't go. So obviously I ran down middle, I checked a few of the, the areas with light, including down here, and some of the more libraries. This one is just a dud. So, I run back this way, and we're going to check top right here, which I see this library, and then I see this chest, and I open the chest, and I also see the end portal over here. That chest that just has a bunch of iron will be valuable. But I'm going to stab the silverfish. I look, and it's a three-eye, meaning I need nine under pearls and five laser rods. And this is not the best portal build, but it is a portal build, and it is pretty average. So it wasn't wasn't bad nav. Nothing nothing really went terrible so far, but nothing will go terrible for the entirety of the run. Hence why it's world record. Other than that, the wood light was like really strange. I placed blocks in a weird spot, and I just kind of rolled with it, and I was able to grab this cobblestone from my inventory, place them right there, and win another at two minutes and forty four seconds, which is crazy. But not everything went right, so there's still room for improvement here. And I have to suffer through load times, but that is okay. When I spawn, there it is, a blaze spawn right there. And I'm very custom new, playing the Bastion first. So I decided to make an iron sword here because I know I grabbed iron from that one chest. So I'm going to block off the lava. And oh yeah, there's the Bastion right there, which I just saw for the first time. So I'm going to go run over to it. And blaze spawns, drops a rod. Now, I was thinking about resetting right as I spawned in because it was a basalt. However, um, there was a blaze spawner right there. So, I figured even if there was a warp nearby, I could actually play that and still get a pretty good time. But, uh, this bastion group went very, very well. I jumped right down and it made all the piglins angry and then ran right over here. We will shortly have a load of piglins. I remember how I talked about based off the information given to you. Yeah, it's going to come in very... Uh, it's going to come in handy right here. So I'm going to trap these piglin birds in here, and I'm going to be looking for three things when I jump down and check traits. Fire resistance, usually crying obsidian, and ender pearls. Now I only need nine, however, I want a little bit more just to throw one to the main end island, which is going to then have another one for a crit bug, and I have to crap it and use fire, but just to that. So trap off these piglin brutes here because it just flies on hot dog bridge. Like, they don't really do anything. They're just kind of there to annoy you. They're very easy to take care of. 
So I look at my inventory, I have fire resistance, I have uh, crying obsidian, and I get the ender pearls here, and I'm just out. And that was an incredibly fast bridge split, bridge bastion split, one minute and 17 seconds. I thought about getting looting here too, but I already have an iron sword, and I only need four more blaze rods. So I'm gonna go over here, back to the spawner, that's like 12 blocks away or something. And because of those four beds I uh, obtained earlier, we're just going to use one to blaze bed right here. Huh. I talked I talked about that. I, th I thought maybe this would be viable. And sure enough, it was. There's these stupid skeletons here, so I just have to block them off. And I got to spawn. It's two of them. So a maximum of three rods right now if both drops. But I don't think either of them do. So I'm still at, I'm still at one here. So I'm going to look around a little bit. Make sure there's not any spawners. And another two spawns, so just think of this. If all of these guys dropped here, I would have gone 5 5 and I would have been out. Right here. I would have been out of the nether. So, I could have saved a load of time just by having 5 out of 5 blaze, blaze rates. But, 5 out of 5 is very incredible, so I'm more than content with the blaze rates in this one. But I'm still 1 for 5, which is incredibly low. Um, never, ever be 1 for 5. Oh, I'm, I'm 2 for 5, never mind. I for, I for, I for core. But I got another spawn here. Follow them, drop them out. And, or well, actually, no, just a few of them drop them out. I'm still only at 3. Like, this is a world record, but I'm suffering from blaze rates. I'm 3 for like 9 right now, I think. So it, it, it's not great. Like, nothing... It's just the Bastion split, and this crazy nether really saved this run. So, I'm, I'm just trying to help out the blaze rates more and more. But, just the blaze bed in the great terrain. It was already really good. And finally, I have five, so I'm out. Goodbye. And entering back, I still have a fire resistance for like a second or two, so I'm able to just, just, just jump right through there. And I could have quick crafted all ten, but in case I needed one to pearl and then one to do crit bug, I decided not to. And there's a blaze in the overworld. I don't even know how that happened because I just blocked off the floor. But we're gonna use the rest of our wood here. And then we're gonna throw this pearl, throw out that blaze powder. I'm gonna rearrange my inventory very, very quickly for the one cycle. And here it is. One cycle. Little dank cycle. Thank you. Are showing me dank cycle. Because this is very, very, very good. The sense split was like 42 seconds. It's great. It's lavalous. It saves a bunch of time. And that is world record by a long shot. It was nuts. I wrote GG in the chat because I was so well played. I, I really think this world record will stand for a long time. And with that, goodbye.